Hi, I'm Brad White. Welcome back to Inside Pierce. Today what we're going to do is we're going to show you our TAC4 assembly process. Right here I have a TAC4 behind me. I'm going to go over here and talk to Dale. Dale's going to show us how this is assembled before it's placed on one of our fire apparatus. Hey, good morning, Dale. How are you? Good morning. Good to see you. Mind if I interrupt? No, nope, not at all. Good seeing you, sir. Yeah. We've got our friends here from uh, our, our website here that'd like to uh, see how you're assembling the TAC4. Uh, okay, so now this is a fixture set up for the main assembly. Are there other components or other sub-assemblies that are done right now that get brought over here to, 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 to make up the full assembly for TAC4? Yeah, we have three other stations. We have what's called the um, upper and lower control arm station. Okay. Then we have our wheel and hub assembly, which is right behind us. And so those components will come over, and does this piece stay right here? And then those get added to it after they're, they're complete? Yes, yeah, so this is our final assembly station. We also have what we call the um, steering linkage area, which is right in front of us over there. But that's where we put everything together loose, then we okay. bring it over here, tighten and torque it. Great. Do we manufacture all these components for this TAC4 assembly? I, uh, obviously, we don't do steer gears, so we have to purchase those, but. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the componentry here and, and how it's built? Sure. Some of the items that we have that's brought in is like our steering gears, like you said, our um, pitman arms, our tie rod links, but our side plates and front and rear cross members, they're brought in as flat stock. Everything's already pre-drilled, pre-measured. We just bend it to our specs and weld it up, then it's shipped over to us. So these are probably done over on the robot over at IBP, yeah. I'm assuming, right? Now, once this component is complete, where does it go from here? Do they paint it right away or do they put it on the uh, frame rails and then move it on? Once we get this complete, it will go over to where we have another area for sub-assemblies. Okay. Then once they need it, they'll take it and put it over there for our frame rails and it'll get installed on our frame. So how, how long you been doing this, Dale? Been doing this for 12 years. 12 years, just on the TAC4. Just on TAC4. And that's about how long we've been selling this product here, right? Why would a customer go with a TAC4 compared to maybe a straight axle, a purchase component? The biggest thing is what we found is that it's got better um, ride handle. It's quicker stoppage. It's just an overall easier thing to control for your fire truck. Right. So if you're going down and the left hand wheel falls in a pothole, the other one stays on the road, yeah. something like that, huh? Well, uh, thanks, Dale. I appreciate your yeah. time. Thank you very no much for taking our time, and thank you from Inside Pierce.